Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about tree diagram probability with no replacement. So let's have a problem to better understand how the tree diagram probability works. So in a jar there are five Snickers and eight Milky Way chocolate bars. A kid can pick twice from the jar with no replacement. So let's to better understand this. I have here this. Um, I I put the um, I put this post-it as a jar, and then inside this post-it there are five Snickers and there are eight Milky Way bars. Okay. So what what's gonna happen here is that so if a kid picks a Snickers, then it's not gonna get replaced. So that means it's gone. So. Um, the teacher or whoever sponsored this would not replace it. So what's going on here is that we find the total number of chocolate bars first. So 8 plus um, 5 is 13. So there are 13 total um, chocolate bars. If we count this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So this is how we fill this tree diagram in. First, we are going to fill this in with Snickers. First, on the first pick... So we can have um, S that represents the snicker. M would be for the Milky Way. And then on the second pick, it's the same thing, Snickers and Milky Way. And then here it's going to be Snickers and Milky Way. Okay, so our task is to determine the probabilities. So in the, in the, uh, the blanks that are located on the branches here, are actually the probability. So let's take the first one. So what is the probability that at the beginning, uh, probability that a kid can pick um, a Snickers? So that would be one, two, three, four, five over the total. So five over the total. So we can, I can write here five over the total is 13. So five over 13. What about Milky Way on the first pick? So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 over the total, which is 13. So I fill that in. Now, what's going to happen if he got the Snickers on the first pick? So that means I am going to cover this. So I cover the Snickers there. And let's determine what is the probability of getting a Snickers. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4 over the total. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the probability here after the first Snickers was picked, the probability of the second pick that is a Snicker would be 4 over 12. Because the other Snickers was gone already. Now what is the probability that on the second pick it's a Milky Way when one Snicker was already taken? So we count the Milky Way over the total. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that would be 8 over 12. Now, what happens if the, the first pick, the Milky Way got picked? So I'm going to cover this. The Milky Way got picked on the first pick. So what is the probability of getting a snicker on the second pick? So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over the total. So that would be 5 over, what is the total for this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's 5 over 12. And then what is the probability that we're getting a Milky Way on the second pick when the Milky Way got picked on the first pick. So we count the M over the total. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 over 12 is the total. Okay, so that's how we fill those in. Now we are going to find the result. So the result here refers to what was what was being picked. So the first result here would be the first pick is a snicker and the second pick is a snicker. So S and S. The sec this next blank right here is Snickers and Milky Way is the result. So Snickers on the first pick, Milky Way on the second pick. Here we have Milky Way on the first pick and then Snickers on the second pick. Here we have Milky Way on the first pick, Milky Way on the second pick. So let's find the probability. 
to find the probability that the uh, the uh, result would be a snicker and a snicker, so snicker on the first pick and snicker on the second pick, we are going to multiply these two numbers together. So that would be 5 over 13 times 4 over 12. So if we do the math on this, this would come out 5 times 4 is 20 over 156. Okay, so that's uh, 20 over 156. Now we move on to the um, Snickers on the first pick and Milky Way on the second pick. So that would be 5 over 13 times 8 over 12. Okay, so if we are going to multiply this, 5 times 8 is 40 and then... Um, 13 times 12 is 156. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try these problems out on your own, these two problems here. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So let's have the first one. So this would be 8 over 13. So that's 8 over 13 times... 5 over 12, and this is 40 over 156. And then the next one here is 8 over 13 times 7 over 12, which is 56 over 156. At this time, we are supposed to... Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's uh, reduce this to lowest term. So each of these is divisible by four. Okay, by the way, before we move on, um, others are going to say, like, how do we know if we got the correct answer and how do we fix if we got it wrong? Is there a way that we can determine that we got it correct? Okay, here's a trick. These branches that we have here will have a total of one because in probability, the max um, number when we add probabilities would be one. So five plus eight is 13. So that's 13 over 13, that's one. Here, we also have, this two will have a total of one. So that means four plus eight is 12 over 12 is one. This one right here would still be the same thing. Five plus seven is 12 and then that's 12 over 12. So each of these branches, this branch here will have a, a total of one. These two branches will have a total of one. These two bran uh, branches will have a total of one. The same thing for this. If we add all of these, their total should be one. So 20 plus 40 is 60. 60 plus 40 is 100. 100 plus 56 is 156. So pretty much if we add all these, that's 156 over 156, which is one. So that is the, that is the way to determine if we got the correct answer or not. Now we are going to reduce this to lowest term before we answer all of these. So all of these numbers are divisible by four. So this one right here can be reduced to five over 39. So divide each by four. So that's five over 39. This one here would be divided by four. So 10 over 39. And then this one right here would be 10 over 39. And this one right here is 14 over 39. And then if we still add all of these, this should equal to 39 over 39. 5 plus 10 is 15. 15 plus 10 is 25. 25 plus 14 is 39. So 39 over 39. And the blue ones are the one that we write over here. So what is the probability that the first pick is Milky Way and the second pick is uh, the second pick is um, Snickers? So we go to the result here, M and S. So the probability is 10 over 39. So this is 10 over 39. S and M. So I go S and M. So that's 10 over 39. Next is M and M, so that is 14 over 39. And S and S would be 5 over 39. What does this number mean? So if we have uh, 10 over 39, what does it mean? So for 39 uh, times that uh, 10 out of 39 picks, 
the kid is going to get a Milky Way and Snickers combination. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!